Primitive accumulation of capital through slave trafficking, piracy, and the like generated the resources for the first capitalist enterprises. It also entitled the seizure of lands from the indigenous population, which continues to this very day. Over the last half century, neoliberal policies have centralized power and wealth in the hands of a few, while dispossessing many, including indigenous communities throughout the continent. Professor David Harvey calls this accumulation by dispossession. Just like 500 years ago, indigenous communities today are resisting not only the intrusion of capitalist enterprises into their territory that destroy their resources, life cycles, living spaces, and culture, but also resisting the military that is deployed at the service of transnational capital. Indigenous communities are proving how wrong the champions of materialistic values have been in thinking that industrial growth is tantamount to progress. A progress that supposedly improves the quality of life of the people. We now know that materialism is not the road to happiness and it's unsustainable because it leads to the destruction of all human life. We have so much to learn from indigenous populations that center their worldview on a community-based, ecologically balanced and culturally respectful way of life. Despite historical oppression, indigenous people are resisting, not only for themselves, but for humanity. Today, we give thanks to all indigenous people for standing up for justice against the U.S. war machine and corporate greed. War is not life.